going on? Out here in the garage today, working on this guy. So, I'm gonna pull the rear suspension and brakes off finally, and we'll see what else we get to. Only got like a few hours, so that's what I'm working on. Let's go. All right, so as we did with the fronts, we're gonna go ahead and pull all the brake fluid out of the, well, the rear is gonna be a wheel cylinder instead of a caliper, uh, seeing how it's drum brakes. We're gonna go ahead and break that bleeder screw loose and use the vacuum bleeder to pull out all of the brake fluid on both sides of the rear. And this bleeder screw is a seven millimeter. Get the color of that brake fluid. Nasty stuff. Alright, so we just punched the dust cap off of the rotor, the dust cap for the bearings. Uh, now, what we're going to have to do is get that cotter pin off there and use some of my trusty needle nose pliers to bend that back around like so. Go with a pocket screwdriver here for this. Pull it out. They're starting to come out of there. There it goes. Now just pop this cover off the nut. So, um, we got the little cap off the nut for the bearing. Uh, I believe it's a 24 millimeter. Of course, I left mine at work again. So, got a 15 16 inch socket, and that gets it pretty good. And this one seems to be, well, it was hand tight, so. That's that. You can see right there, we just got the washer for the bearing and there's the tapered wheel bearing right there that's the outer and once you get the drum off of there so I'll have to set the camera down there we go drum off. We got a, another tapered wheel bearing on the inside section. So there's your drum brake setup. These actually look like they're in pretty decent condition. Um, I guess unfortunately, seeing how these are in good condition, we are be gonna we are going to be doing a rear disc brake conversion on this so all that stuff is probably just gonna get trashed or find somebody who wants it so so now for the disassembly of this uh, you're gonna have to pretty much release all of these springs get the shoes off and wheel cylinder we'll have to take that backing plate off that's gonna be getting replaced and then we'll pull the hub off of the beam or the spindle I guess you would say so uh, you guys can watch as I do that now
Alright, so what I just did there is I released uh, a spring running from the top of the shoe down here to the bottom. Um, then I released on this side this spring that holds the shoe to the backing plate. I used this tool for that. It's just allows you to press in on that spring, turn it, and release it. You can see how it's keyed on there. And then to really get, to allow it to turn, you need to, to allow you to release that spring in the keyed section, you have to hold the back side of the pin and it pops right off. these four four bolts back here that hold the hub to the uh, rear beam it's a uh, four 15 millimeters built up in there around the nut. Mm. Alright, so as you can see, we did get that off of the car. Um, if you're going to replace that stuff with new drum stuff, you're going to obviously take it apart a little bit different. I kind of skip steps just so, I mean, I'm taking the entire assembly off, so I don't need to take it off piece by piece. but. Um, let's see. Ooh. I'm focusing. Here we have the parking brake cable sticking through the backing plate. We have the wheel cylinder still on there. Obviously, the brake line that connects to it. All that stuff's going to be getting replaced because, like I said, we are doing disc brakes on this car in the rear. And all these brake lines are, as you can see, rusted so I don't even want to take a chance when I do get this car on the road um, as for the shoes this is a this is a lever right here silver lever that's what engages your parking brake when that cables pulled um, here's the spring for that lever at the top like I said before um, yeah I mean, if you get a full drum brake kit, you're going to replace pretty much all that stuff. So, you'll take it apart a little bit differently, but that's pretty much the gist of getting this thing apart. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do that I wouldn't be doing if I were replacing this stuff. So, we're just going to go ahead and cut this metal brake line and drop it out. Like so. And we'll get to the parking brake cable later on once we get the other side together or apart into the box of scrap. Alright, guys, so now that we do have all this stuff off, uh, we're going to go ahead and move to the other side, and you guys can watch how it goes over there. 